that made me dream I'm going to grow up, go to Africa, live with wild animals, and write books about them. Because girls weren't scientists in those days. So they laughed at me and said I should dream about something I could achieve, but not my mother. She said, if you really want to do something like this, you're going to have to work really hard, take advantage of opportunity, and if you don't give up, you may find a way. And I can't tell you how many teenagers have written or said to me, thank you, because you did it, I can do it too. A lot of the environmental activism and campaigning I've done in general has just stemmed from all the yeah. subsequent work that you've done. Are there lessons you think that we should be learning from all the decades that you spent observing you know, chimpanzees, as well as trying to help protect the animals in their habitats? Well, I think, you know, one of the things, when I was sent to Cambridge by Lewis Leakey, my mentor, back in uh, 1961, I'd been with the chimps about a year. Um, didn't know really that much about them back then, but. I was told, you can't give chimpanzees names, you should have numbered them. Uh, that's more scientific. And you can't talk about their personalities, their minds, or their emotions. Those are unique to humans. Well, I'd learned from my dog that that wasn't true, that these professors, for all their learning, and, you know, it was very scary for me. I hadn't even been to college. Now I'm landed doing a PhD in ethology. I didn't even know what ethology was. And so, Gradually, because of my careful notes, because of Hugo's film documentaries that started going around, what we've learned, I think, is that the biggest difference between us and our closest relatives, with whom we share so much behavior, it's the explosive development of our intellect. But animals are way, way, way more intelligent than we ever used to think. Mm -hmm. Maya Rose, you were, I think, a birder, weren't you? Like, you grew up in nature. My parents were both bird watchers, so I was literally, I was nine days old. The first time they took me bird watching has always been something that I've done and I've loved. You see its bill? Yes. What color's that? Bright orange. They're really beautiful and they're really easy to see and they are everywhere, whether you are in a really rural area or a really urban area. You need patience and good eyesight. <laughs> Ridiculous optimism. <laughs> What's that? Being Isn't... very hopeful. It's probably right. <laughs> <laughs> I spotted it!